should we want to go, both individually and collectively? And there, there are multiple, there, there may be multiple right answers. It's not that there's just one sort of life that is the best possible life. There's a range of different lives that, given a million years to talk about it, we might not be able to distinguish which is better or worse. Like, you, you know, is is Chinese food better than Thai food? Right? Like, like, there's a range of differences there, which are which don't matter for better or worse, it's just different, right? And, and yet, at the end of the day, if you really preferred one and I really preferred the other, we could find some reason why that's the case. I mean, we you might be a super taster of certain tastes on your, you know, so, so basically. But 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 then it's still coherent to ask: Should we like if if I if, if we could really intrude in the brain and change our intuitions about better and worse, right? If I could change your sense of the rightness of certain actions or the wrongness, we could make this additional. We could ask this additional question of whether that would be good. Because that would be a new way of navigating the space. This brings you to your brave new world question. So, like, if it's possible to, you know, let's say we had a, a cure for sadness, right? This, this is an example I've heard this before, where you uh, we have a pill that perfectly cancels the feeling of, of grief. Say. So, you so at what point you know, after the death of a loved one would you want to take this pill? Right? And the answer might be never, and you would have a reason why you know that was the case. Uh, but you can imagine someone who's just so destroyed by the experience of grief, they just can't get their life back on track, everyone in their life is worried about them, they're, you know, on the virtue of suicide, at a certain point you say, well, let's just give you this pill and just see if we can you know, bring a little daylight, even if you were against it, you use right. it for yourself, right? Uh, but presumably, you wouldn't want to take it 30 seconds after your kid was run over by a bus. You know, you just see this, 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 the worst thing that's ever happened in your life happen, and then you just pop this pill and you're you don't feel anything, you know, one way or the other about it, right? You're ready to go to Starbucks, right? That would be, that would be a, a complete uh, fragmentation of who you are with respect to the love you feel or felt for your child. Like, like what, what does loving your child mean if, upon uh, immediately upon his or her death, you, you want to cancel your grief and you feel great, right? So. So we don't know what we believe. It'd be hard to find the right answer, but it, and you know this, this kind of thing is very likely coming, by the way, right? It's, mm -hmm. it's very likely we will one day have a cure for grief, right? and we'll figure, have to figure out how to use it, and there will be wrong ways to use it. But I think what we want, I think the intuition that, that causes you to ask this question about how this is going to be world is that we we have a the right to want to change to reality in some sense. And if we were ever faced with the opportunity of uploading ourselves to the simulation, slow you nothing, 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 I'll give a shit. Our states of wasting my life on any of the worst years of reality in lives, wasting my life on actual conscious experience of others. That would be a bad thing, right? And yet, um, like, he's grow up. He's just he's talking shit about me, right? I randomly came on, and he's like talking shit about me. And that's an interesting. So like you can't ever do anything for anybody. So um, Sam Harris intuition about Peterson. He's like, hey, grow up. You're not going to do anything for fucking anyone. Like, uh, shut the fuck up. In something very much like a simulation, that's not. Like to talk about what? Why can't I pause this? What is real? You hear? Your mom mind. It's just crazy. So the dude's gonna like live his life and die and be seen like, yeah, Sam Harris was a smart guy, but he spent his whole life just fighting for the same shit. Just, and it's not. It's like stop talking about God and watch what happens. Like David Pakman, two point five million subscribers. All he does is take people who hate Trump and I guess want to like sit there and watch that shit. And a lot of them didn't vote. Probably like, I'm gonna watch Pacman make fun of idiots on the other side. And I'm not gonna go vote today because I got YouTube. Not to go vote. Okay. No, they won't go vote. They're just sitting on YouTube like, oh, fuck, try, stupid. They don't even go vote. I'm not voting on purpose. I'm a conscientious objector. But watching these leftist like entertainers keeping you at home on fucking YouTube, they're not nearly as hateful. That they, they usually don't talk about. I'm a voted sticker. Did my job. Who did you vote for? Not Schumer. Vocal. I like vocal. Amy Schumer's running, no. dude. No. Whose campaign did she steal? That's the only nod that everyone else has done across the board. Pay me, Schumer, then you can There's have my fucking jokes, only, bitch. There are only two races that I really felt like Schumer got a lockdown, obviously. The vocals could be closed, so I don't want at least some fucking Republican to fucking get in. That's fucking going to be dumb because we're all. And the other one is this local uh, clerk 
because they're not North Carolina, the state, the state uh, representative. And there's a woman that kind of, she's sent out flyers all over, and she's like Susie Mangano or whatever. She has a camera haircut. But online, like all her, all of her ads that she sends are all attack ads. They're like, Pat Burke is a piece of shit. Pat Burke lied. Pat Burke fake stole money, blah, blah, blah. But when you look into her, you see that, like, oh, she's fucking cuckoo bananas. Like, she wishes she was here January 6th. Like, she's full on Trump QAnon, all that shit. She's like, the FBI has been working with Biden to, to whip in the Clintons to murder all of the, the Trump people and shit. Like, oh, like she's it. running for fucking office. So, I'm like, what's her name? Nah. Susan, Susan, some Susan Megadano or Magignano. The FBI do not believe like what you're gonna say right now. What about Carrie Lake though? Like she's like hypnotizing. Like she's so, oh, like no, and she but she knows what she's doing. Like she's like an attractive female. I don't know. She she's a little scary. Sanctimonious, lie detector audience. I want to be drunk. Like, did you make up that word? I'm a lie detector, you fucking piece of shit. I don't really think of them like that. It's a little scary. Like, like they said, like they're they're interesting looking. They probably thought that for Obama, yeah. right? Oh, sure. and some yeah. smart black man. Uh-oh! Right. Right. He's gonna communize right. the shit out of this. Right. They're gonna take over. They're gonna fall through the train. Block them. Which doesn't usually happen because whatever. What happens if, if Obama jumps to a third party? JFK was probably the closest thing to that in a long time. If, if Obama starts, if Obama jumps to a first party, like to another party, he gets what twenty five million on the first day. Like we're in, we trust you, we elected you. Like nothing against Joe, but you ain't Joe and you ain't Don. Like we'll join this party and try to like oh, form boy. it. Yeah, Obama or anyone. They'd all follow him. He'd be like, right. I mean, just, he, he doesn't have to do it. But I won't even vote on this fucker, right? I'll just start well, it and bring you together. Could, just crush could, them. Yeah, if you crush the Bible. Like a third party. Actually why third? Why third? Why not the z- like a zero? Why not a, a, a not? Don't say don't put a number like that. Block block. We gotta block parties. We gotta block parties. It's such a parody. Start another party and get the log jam of two party system. Let's block parties. We don't need parties. Like and if they are parties, make them smaller parties. Like be in little parties. It's the size and scope of the parties that's the problem. They have to join the whole basket usually, and that's that's what the dumb fucks up to you a little bit in your stead. And me and Marco did because of the same reason too, because I was talking about the Chilean constitution that was just up for a vote and it didn't pass. And then I listened to this podcast about how why didn't it pass? You can smoke. You just gotta be up here. I I don't. I don't want to. Oh, all right, go. You need another one for the thing, or what? You smoking two on the way, or you just want to have one and think about quitting? No, I'll just grab something. No, it was about this Constitution shit, and we were learning about how the process worked for how Chile tried to actually do a new Constitution. The process is what failed, right? The reason that the people didn't vote for this new Constitution was because they didn't feel included. They felt like this was a elitist cross like pro, uh, projects that they were being excluded from. They're like, well, if we're going to do it with the constitution, we want to be included in this. So, both conversations they have with Marco and Michelle, we're both like talking about like how your, your ideas are right, but your mechanisms. I mean, you haven't figured out the mechanisms exactly. I'm a fucking explorer, well, dude. I'm Alex, the, the abhorrible explorer. To that, that intent of if you're going to do a new constitution, everyone should have a chance to include it. Should Everyone should have their own. You should try to okay. guess like the lottery. What do you think the final form is going to be? No, try to predict on sure, round so one. Yeah. What do you think this country yeah, would that, really work with? You're, you have a you lot might get like 20 million people with the same shit. Like, oh my god, it's yeah, fucking yeah. ultra common sense. You want to make it, you want to make it interesting in a game and and, and protect teaching. people and frogs and of both wrong. genders, that's all four point. genders. Your matter. attention there, your general theme and is, rivers is very much correct. I think, especially when compared to. Like what Chile was it's thematic. Wrong. It's thematic. One of, the that, one of the, the first thing that they said that they did wrong, or that well, I'm saying they basically did wrong, and one of the things they said they did wrong was when they were starting to form the new constitution, they fucking hired people who write constitutions, lawyers, and diplomats, and former bureaucrats. So like right there, you're you're fucked. Right there, right from the jump. Don't even let them write a first draft. Right. Let them edit and make suggestions. Like no, we well, got this from 1774. Try that. If they bring those people in to form a council. You know, like they form a legit council of Ooh. the new constitution authors, and there are people included. I have an idea here, it's important. Let's set up something where they do that, and then they run a simulation, and as if, like, uh, and we, we, we're we the council, so we're the AI, we're the ones deciding what goes wrong, right? They set their policies, and then we let, let it run, and it tells them how they failed, right? The council tells you how you failed. Somebody like, 
this is how it's going to go wrong. You got to put in another piece of DNA in your government because it didn't work, right? It didn't work. It didn't spread. Maybe it costs money to fire off a new political party. Well, dynamism for the like government. Point one percent of your income to start a new party. That's it. I was thinking about this a couple of years back, where my my new party or whatever I wanted, or, or I wasn't even a new party. It was a new thing, right? It was instead of communism or socialism. I was like, what would be my new ism if I were to try to push one? Dynamism would be my push. Dynamism. And it would be an ever changing, constantly adapting, you know, with biomimicking type system that, that was not, was never stacked. Dynamism. So it's I'm not conservative, it's not progressive. In fact, it's ultra progressive. What do you think about a comic constitutional convention? I think it would need to be a comic constitutional convention. Like the people there do not want to show their faces well, to the to the so-called deplorables. I'm sorry, the the, the uh, propagandizing effect of secondary or tertiary education and secondary education does not outweigh the ability to interact with fucking human beings. Like all the educated people are going Democrat, and Democrats are, are the left and right, right? We already agreed on this, but all most all educated people. And, and the people who aren't educated think, oh, they've been, they've been propagandized in the universities to believe in the Jews and the, and the transgenders. Yeah. What their, what's your trans, what's your agenda, man? At least the Democrats are trying new stuff, whereas the conservatives... Not much, though, and most of it's just like, let's... They're the ones who... They're just, they're let's just protect people, but now the groups they're protecting are like 72 people in a state, which, fine. But, like, the big rights have been fought for, a lot of people died, a lot of people suffered. Now it's like, fine, protect rights, but... Like, just build unisex bathrooms for everyone. Just have to build and there be bathrooms everywhere. Shut the fuck up. Move on. Put, give women the ability to have sensors in their fucking toilets that are air-gapped, audited by Musk. I don't give a fuck. And Snowden, Snowden, and like, listen, just get the fucking abortion before 13 weeks. Just please, God, please minimize the crime. They're babies, and it's the only thing the right is even close to being correct about is that those are people... They're seven, potential five, people. Five, They're humans three, who will six, be seven, a few. Right? Seven, five, five, three, six, seven. Just say this on the internet over and over. Yeah, steal my money, motherfuckers. Yeah, I don't know. Obama starts a new party. Like, come on, what is he? What? Yeah, it's fine. It, it's come. I. What is Obama? How is Obama? How, how is Obama? Fifty nine. 57. I think he's like, yeah, 60. I think he's either just turned 60 or he's going to turn 60. And you think he has not, like, if I, if, if, if something comes from New York City. He's the same thing as Star Child. That would be, Star Child Obama would be a great conversation. Can you just imagine how funny that would be? Obama's got a late night show, Eric Star Child. We have Eric Star Child, ladies and gentlemen. Remember this guy? We talked about him in New York City for fucking decades. I can't imagine Star Child. Would be you just, I can only see him showing up and just walking around. Like, that's it. No! Like, no way! No way! Not. He's like told to like sit in the chair. We're gonna sit down and talk. He might do it for like five seconds, but as soon as something is asked of him that he's not comfortable with, he'll just get up and leave. Let's okay, we're going to show you either you either leave or if you get, if you yell at somebody, if you go ad hominem, you get kicked out. We're gonna have a corpse hatch. It's gonna be great. Back in like I don't know an hour. Obama just hasn't met that person or those people, and it's not a person. He hasn't gone. You got thirty six people who have a similar like. If he was inspired, he would say that shit. I think. I don't think he's waiting. His life is full as fuck. Everybody still wants to hang out with him. Like, you know. Well, because he doesn't see legitimate visionary shit that his voice can advance yet, I don't think. He, if he sees beautiful shit, he's probably going to fucking parrot it a little bit in his own eloquent words. He's the great articulator! What is it? Articul art articulate. I'm not even sure what the fuck I'm recording right now. Oh, it's fine. Except common constitution is not shown through at all. 